I'm a big fan of these uh, SDGs because they, they, they have really the potential to change the political view on things in so many, many sectors and of course also in, in health. The SDGs provide us a fantastic opportunity. We are also working a lot on governance issues and we have also put together a joint monitoring framework to ensure the accountability from the member states from the different global agendas. Big is about understanding the context, the full picture, the big pictures. In the Europe of today, we have to go beyond the numbers and dig behind the numbers, especially the problems faced by vulnerable people, the problems faced by underserved populations. Not everyone is getting a fair deal. There's a number of uh, areas that are more linked to the social policy that are uh, important. Income inequality, for instance, that's an issue that we have to address. We know from research that income inequality is delivering bad health outcomes, but also housing, for instance. Housing is an issue that's very important for the well-being of people, for the health of people, but it's not often considered to be a major uh, social determinant of health. We need political leadership to open doors towards the future of a healthy society, of a society in which equality and access to opportunities is a reality, not just for some, but for all. As uh, the healthcare is uh, the responsibility of each member state, we can set our own priorities, but if our priorities match, it's, it's only reasonable to work together and uh, maybe then take bigger steps towards the SDGs. The STG agenda means a lot for the citizens. We need to move to a place where we have policies that allow data to flow for the citizens so that they can make choices about how their data is used for their own health, well-being and their own social context as well. So the hackathon's really exciting. It's bringing lots of people together from lots of different countries, lots of different backgrounds, and with lots of different experiences. And when trying to understand how to solve a problem, you need to understand um, their experience that they bring, if you're going to come up with a solution that's going to work for more than one region. The health sector doesn't really speak the language of finance ministers. The health sector speaks an academic language, uh, it speaks an evidence-based language, it speaks a logical language. It does not speak in the dark arts of politics. Well, obviously we take into account the need for more money because of the aging population, but uh, this just stresses the need to be able to show the evidence that these services are provided in an efficient way. A lot of people don't know that generic and biosimilar medicines, when they are utilized, actually increase considerably the access to medicines for patients by between 10 and 200 percent. So that means that more patients get treated at a lower cost, of course, for the public health system. My dream is to line up all of the health ministers of the world alongside all of the finance ministers of the world and ask them to have a discussion about the greatest public health challenges of our time and check that their policies are aligned so that we're all on the same page. I said we do have this criterion for any projects we do, which is what's the social economic impact. And social economic impact, by definition, is covering also this long-term perspective of sustainability. And without health, nothing is sustainable. We have always, throughout centuries, spoken about crises. It's time for us to start focusing on where we really want to get and stop finding excuses not to do what needs to be done. It's time for all of us to get political.